Hey guys, it's Sithmar. Wanted to talk about Mystic Ally, which is another skill in 1.07 that received a pretty good buff. Now, it only costs 25 spirit, so it's a very easy to cast. It's one of those skills that you cast and forget, and you've got a nice little ally associated with it um, to help you out in battle. It, more often than not, he's essentially just going to be a meat shield. The difference between this meat shield and something by that something like what the witch doctor utilizes is the fact that the monk is a melee character. So although the mystic ally will help to reduce some of the damage, you're still going to be taking quite a bit. So you're going to have to have some pretty good life steal, whether lifeline hit or whatever, in order to to keep yourself alive. So just relying on the mystic ally to, to help you survive battle is not going to help a lot. You're still going to need, like I said, uh, good survivability skills on your own. The one situation where I do find that the mystic ally is beneficial is when you're dealing with plagued. Plagued, I find, more than anything else, is the biggest challenge for the monk since you're in such a close proximity and you don't have very many ranged skills. So that's, like I said, how I find the, the monk to really shine, or mystic ally specifically, to, to be beneficial for you. What the base skill does is just provides an ally that attacks for 40% weapon damage. So you can sit there and he attacks not at your attack speed, it's significantly less than your attack speed, but it does some good damage. Um, but like I said, is more of just there as a distraction than anything else. So let's go to town and go get the first rune choice. So the first rune is Water Ally. So Water Ally increases the damage quite significantly. Uh, it goes from 40% up to 120% and also slows movement speed by 60% for 2 seconds. So when, when you're in Inferno, it's going to be a 45% slow. So it's a, a decent slow, but again, um, other than the distraction factor, the slow isn't going to help a whole lot. The Mystic Ally special attack he uses um, usually about once every 5 or 6 seconds. So again, he's not going to be using it all that often. The Mystic Ally attacks about once a second, so it's going to be... And there you go, there's a special attack and you can see that they're they're slowed and there he used it again. So again, four, five, six seconds, somewhere in that range is usually when he utilizes it. The reduced movement speed is is decent, uh, but not something that's overly beneficial. So let's take a look at uh, or complete this battle. And then once that is done, we will go back to town and switch it up. As you can see from, from this battle, this is again one of those situations where I think Mystic Ally is, is helpful when dealing with Plagued. But you can see that he's not doing a whole lot of damage. If I sit there and kind of run around, then he'll It'll help a little bit, unless of course they have Vortex, then they just pull me right back in. So, um, Like I said, good survivability. My, Even though we were dealing with an elite pack, my ally is, is still alive. So the next one is Fire. So Fire Ally, not as much damage as Water Ally. It's 80% weapon damage as fire, plus 79% weapon damage per fire uh, for two seconds to all enemies in a straight line. So the it essentially turns out to be about the same amount as water. It's only 80% uh, like I indicated, but then at the same time it's doing damage over time. Since he is not using this skill all that often, then... Sorry, since he's not using the skill all that often, only once every second or so, then realistically it is going to be about 120 per second. It's really only when he's changing changing attacks or changing enemies that he's going to be using it 
more often than that. So, um, the one thing about this skill is I find it harder to, to see where he is compared to the uh, the water ally. But I guess that also depends on what area you're in and things along that line. With this reflex damage affix and everybody's glowing, uh, like I said, it can be more challenging to, to find him. But the damage is decent and it's a good rune choice. There's not much difference in my opinion between this and the, the water. The water is used less frequently so the fire will do more damage as a result. Uh, the advantage of the water is the fact that you've also got the slow associated with it. So some people like that. As I've indicated I find the, the slow to be uh, pointless for lack of a better word. Uh, definitely not efficient anyways. So once we take out this pack then we will go up and change to the last, well, take a look at the last couple of rune choices anyways. So again, this skill isn't going to provide you a whole lot of additional damage, but any additional damage is good. Like I, I've said many times before, and um, the meat shield is also beneficial, especially dealing with larger packs. So air ally, I think, is an extremely weak rune. Uh, if you are an extremely, and I have to emphasize extremely, spirit intensive build, then this can be good, because what it does is unlike the others, he surrounds himself in a vortex, and the vortex does 2% uh, damage, uh, in addition to the 40% that he normally does. So sorry, the uh, the Vortex is 10% damage. There's a 2% chance that um, whenever you hit an enemy, then you will regain 100 spirit. So, like I said, if you are in an extremely spirit intensive build, let's just see him go to work here and there you go. So you can see that he did generate by by his attack the extra the extra spirit for you, but unless you're trying to spam Wave of Light or some other very very powerful uh, spirit skill, I don't think that you're gonna provide much benefit. Let me just show you myself how uh, uh, when I have enemies that are alive. By doing two, two attacks per second, uh, 1.96 attacks per second, and Fists of Thunder generate 6 spirit per attack. So I'm generating approximately 12 spirit for every attack just on my own. So the additional spirit regeneration isn't overly important to me, which is the reason that I don't think that uh, Air Ally is an extremely strong skill. But like I said, depending on your build, you may find it useful. So let's just take him out and we will go talk about Eternal Ally and then show Ground Ally. Actually, I guess I can talk about it while we are in this battle. So Eternal Ally Essentially, the only point of that skill is it doesn't have a lot of weapon damage. I believe the weapon damage is exactly the same, but we'll take a look at it in a second. Is the fact that when the ally dies, he's automatically, after three seconds, summoned again. Well, the 25 spirit that uh, this skill costs is not enough, in my opinion, to require that to. Uh, that kind of a, a respawn. So let me just get out of here before I die too quickly. And so Eternal Ally is definitely not a beneficial rune choice.
So Eternal Ally, um, the weapon damage is increased slightly, sorry. It, it goes from 40 to 60. So it's the weakest of all of the allies that you have available to you. It just respawns automatically after 3 seconds. So, again, none of my allies have died. I was fighting elite packs. Some of them were a little challenging. Uh, so I don't consider that to be a necessary uh, rune. So the last one is kind of an interesting one. Earth Ally, the life is increased by 10%, which is neither here nor there. W again, the damage is only six, uh, 60%, so it's the same amount of damage as uh, Eternal Ally. So the damage is slower, or lower, um, but what this ally does is every time he uses his special attack, it forces enemies to attack him rather than anyone else. So this really becomes the, the strongest from a defensive ability perspective. So that it's kind of like the taunt ability for Diablo 2 or for a lot of other Diablos is, um, is the fact that you're not going to be taking much of any damage at all from the uh, from nearby enemies every time that he uses that attack. Again, this is a single target skill, so it's really only beneficial when, or it's most beneficial anyways, when dealing with powerful attackers. But it does provide uh, quite a good uh, defensive ability associated with it. So, like I said, Mystic Ally won't provide a whole lot of damage but it does provide a a decent meat shield not as good as a witch doctor's but still still pretty good and uh, as far as the rune choices it really depends on on what you're looking for the fire ally will do the most damage over time based on how often he's using his attack the water ally it's good damage, but it also provides the slow uh, Eternal Ally and Error Ally. I don't think are all that beneficial. Error Ally, like I said, from a spirit generation perspective, but only if you're a really, really spirit intensive build. And Earth Ally is the best from a defensive purpose. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, please leave them below.